So we're here again at Prismic Studio. Today we're here in, uh, with Emma. Uh, but just I want to remind that we're doing these videos uh, about different subjects, about you know web technology, web programming, you know CSS, the design systems, all these kind of topics. We get a lot of interest in people. So make sure you check out the videos and subscribe to the to, to the channel for new for new videos. So Emma. Yes. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. It's Paris. a pleasure to be here. Uh, it's, it's great to have you here. Um, so first, I would like to uh, maybe start with introducing how did you, like who you are, how did you start with programming, all that journey? Sure. Yeah, so um, my name is Emma Wedekind. I am a software engineer at LogMeIn in Germany. So I am from upstate New York originally, uh, born and raised there. And then um, my journey into programming is interesting because I never wanted to get into programming. Um, my dad is a an architect at IBM, so he's very much into back-end programming. My mom is a senior designer at IBM, and so I kind of grew up in the tech ecosphere. I'm a third generation IBMer, so it's kind of strange to think about. But um, yeah, as a result, I never wanted to get into programming. Uh, growing up, when your when your parents say, "Oh, you should, you should do this," you're like, "I definitely am not going to do that." And so it was one of those situations. And um, I was actually a biology major in college in Albany, New York, and I realized I was really terrible at it. And so I took, uh, I switched to actuarial science, which is a lot of statistics, and I took an intro to programming course or intro to computer science. And I just remember learning about like binary and hexadecimal and octal, and I was like, this is, this is really cool. Uh, and so I ended up switching my major over to computer science. And so I graduated in 2015, and I moved down to Austin, Texas to work at IBM. And I was there for, I think, three years. I got to work on some really cool projects. I get to work on quantum computing, which is like the neatest project ever. It's the one I talk about the most because it's possibly the coolest. Um, but I did a lot of other things while I was there. Um, yeah, well, that's like, I, I don't know now which topic to talk about. You, okay. you, you spread so many topics, like <laughs> interesting topics. Yeah. But so your father is a software architect. Yes. He was. At, he is. He yeah. is still at yes. IBM. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, uh, well, it makes dinner conversations interesting because he keeps trying to pull me back over into the back end and I'm just not about it. Don't want to go back there, I like front end. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, but now even front end is becoming front end and back end, you know, they're like talking about True. back end of the front end, front end of the yeah. front end, so. It all meshes together. You'll end up there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You're not sure. We'll see. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so you started working at IBM mm -hmm. uh, and then did you work as front end? Uh, there? So uh, my senior year of college, I did an internship where I automated the installation of uh, what is it, WebSphere application server on ZOS with Python. It's a lot. I know I had to memorize that for my LinkedIn profile. <laughs> I don't know what any of it means. Um, and so I did an internship for six months, and then so you used WebSphere. I tried. Oh, okay. I still couldn't tell you what it does. <laughs> um, and now, and then at, during my internship, my dad's previous manager was visiting from Texas and she just came to see me and said, would you want to move to Texas? And I was like, no, but let's do it. Um, and so I, I moved down to Texas. I was going to be hired as a backend developer because I did Java all throughout uh, college and assembly language and database. And so I was like, yeah, backend sounds great. Um, and then like two months before I started, they said, we're going to switch you to front end. And I was like, HTML is easy. That's fine. Like, it'll be great. And so I showed up to work and I was I was horrible at my job. And I quickly realized that front-end development is a lot more than just writing HTML and CSS. Yeah, it's a, I mean, uh, there's this kind of always um, uh, discussion about like whether backend is harder or front-end is harder. I'm a backend person, mm -hmm. but I know it's so complex to do front-end. The complexity is way higher, I think. Yeah, there's a lot more tooling, I feel like, and the problem space, they're, they're different. Like, I don't like to compare and say one is harder than the other because they're so much more different. It's like a lot of unpredictable things that could yeah. happen, you know, browsers and network and all these kind of things. I mean, so, uh, backend has also a lot of a lot of these kind of things. Right. But, you know, less unpredictability, I feel. Yeah. Like CSS, come on, I mean, CSS. I, I mean, love uh, CSS. Browsers. I mean, But I, I know most people don't. <laughs> that, it's not about liking or not, but, yeah. but it, it is complex. Yeah, you know, well, there's a lot rooted in math um, and people don't understand, like specificity is a topic that you should understand if you're gonna write styling, um, but people don't recognize the fact that you know, there is um, math in almost everything we do, including design, which is really hard. Um, they just take it for granted and they see front end and they think, oh, there's nothing like mathematical or technical, like mm. super technical as much as back end about it. And it's that's a, a common mistake. Yeah. That's another topic that we should it is. talk yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> this will last forever, you know. Yeah. This kind of... So, what was the first programming language you started with? Java. Java? 
Wow. Well, technically Alice, but that was like a drag and drop program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, it was Java. Uh, and, and you love Java, I suppose. I hate Java. <laughs> I hate it. Um, probably because I was really bad at it. Um, I think your teachers make a big, they have a big impact on your success. And I don't think that the teaching style that I was um, provided was, it, it didn't match with, with my learning style necessarily, some of my teachers. And so my first intro to programming class was with Java and it was with a professor who was brilliant, um, but I did not click with his teaching style. So I struggled a lot in Java. I, I, will, I, will, I will try to be more bold than that. I guess it's Java. I mean, I've done a lot of Java. Yeah. And I know you're like, like you know, uh, this is, uh, I, I will, maybe people will hate me for do, for saying that. But Java, I mean, not now. Now mm. it's evolving a lot. But it was this language that was not evolving at all. It mm. was like, didn't have functions, didn't have anything. Yeah. And, you know, you had all to define in classes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you say the variable name, the variable type equals yeah. the variable new. And you know, it's, it's, it's really so verbose. verbose. And you have to yeah. understand object oriented programming really well, which I did not. And trying to program it in Eclipse, which is a massively confusing IDE, was just horrifying for me. Oh, course, I think yeah. our senior project was coding Ticket to Ride, which I still can't play that game. Mm -hmm. Great game. I can't play it. I have a lot of negative feelings about that. <laughs> I, I fully understand. So now you start with Java, and yeah. then you went into writing HTML, you said? Or no, was it, I, what? I did assembly language. So I programmed in MIPS. Like we. We did a lot of assembly programming. I did some database with MySQL. And then- you know, Like why Java? I just start with writing assembly directly. That's just like the language. So I didn't go to a technical school. I went to a liberal arts school. And so their computer science program was pretty small. Uh, and so I think Java was just the language that they chose. Like they didn't teach Python at all, or they didn't teach C or anything like that. It was just Java. Um, and so that was, yeah, I mean, and that was used throughout my algorithms courses, my um, mm. programming courses, my data structures courses. Um, and then finally, like when I found out I was going to be taking or working as a front end developer, I took uh, H uh, HTML, I took HTML classes. No, I took front end development or web development. And that was um, not as helpful as I had hoped it would have been. Uh, we learned like a week of HTML, a week of CSS, a week of JavaScript. Then we learned Bootstrap, but they didn't touch like anything in regards to JavaScript frameworks. I had no idea what a JavaScript framework was until I showed up to work on the first day and they were like, we're using Dojo. And I'm like, what, it, what is that? <laughs> I have no idea. So that was really hard. But that touches also on that moment when you join a, a, like a job and you think like, you know what programming is and it's only like, oh, like you, you get this kind yeah. of series of names. Oh, we use this with that and mm -hmm. that. And you like, you understand that you know not, none of them. No, it destroys your ego pretty quickly. I think graduating from a computer science degree um, I had a, a big ego and I was like, I know everything, I deserve this job. Uh, and then I showed up and it was a reality check. Uh, and so now I'm fighting imposter syndrome. I think we all are to a certain extent, but um, yeah, I would say as a junior developer, I had a big ego and that was quickly beaten down. <laughs> but for people that didn't have that uh, ego, it's kind of overwhelming when you get into Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. There's so much to learn. So much to learn. and. You get scared, right? Because you see, oh, everyone understands that mm -hmm. except me. Is it me? Is it the, pro what the, what the yes. problem exactly? Why, why, why am I not on the same page yes. as them? Yeah, absolutely. And I think also being the only female front-end developer was really hard because I thought it was just me and I just wasn't cut out. And not having someone similar to you on your team that you can go to um, for support or for, for help was really difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll dig deeper into into these topics mm -hmm. in the next video. Yeah, sounds oh, good. Thanks. Yeah.